Now this is a case study of a 55 years old female. She has been referred for to rule out the cause of PUO for the last three months. No ultrasound and uh, no uh, blood parameters are available, nor they say that it has. they have been performed. Now what you are seeing is, in fact, that this is the uh, liver, this is liver, right hemidiaphragm, this is the kidney, this area is all kidney, right kidney, measuring 12.2, normal is up to 11 centimeters, this is 12.2 centimeters in, uh, in length and 6.1 a uh, 6.18 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter normally is up to five so the kidney is enlarged number one number two if you note the parenchymal epigenicity of the kidney and compare it with that of the adjacent liver so the parenchymal epigenicity is diffusely raised uh, <coughs> why we can say this is because normal is that the parenchymal echogenicity of the kidney is either equal to the liver or less than the liver parenchymal echogenicity. Now here you are seeing diffuse raised uh, parenchymal echogenicity. Second, you see the dilation of the calluses. Uh, this is the lower pole, dilated calluses. This is the upper pole, mid region. And uh, in this view, this can be studied on up to this time. Now, further, see that and note that the uh, All the calluses from the upper to lower pole are dilated. Now this is the lower pole and this is the upper pole. These are all dilated calluses. The cystic areas are dilated calluses. This is the pyramid. This small tiny uh, cystic area is a pyramid. The cortex measures 4 mm. And if I include the pyramid with the cortex, it will give me the parenchymal thickness, 10.6 at this region and uh, uh, 10.2 from this area, from this region and from the lower pole, from the upper pole, 16.7 mm. So in this kidney, though, we do see cortical medullary differentiation is present and uh, the cortical thickness is preserved, uh, sorry, the uh, parenchymal thickness is preserved. However, uh, but however, the echogenicity of the cortex is diffusely raised and with this area is the pelvis this region. The marking for you is the pelvis. And in the pelvis, dilated pelvis, dilated up to 2.67 cm by 4 cm, this area, this echogenic area is the debris which can be blood or pus. This is the debris. And uh, then now you see this is a calculus over here. This is the proximal ureter. From here to here is the proximal ureter. And normal is up to 7. And this is up to 8.8 .8 mm. This echogenic area giving posterior shadow is the calculus in the uh, proximal ureter, which is the cause of uh, all the findings that have been seen in this uh, study so far. Now the another calculus is seen in the low pole calculus, 
Liverpool dilated disc is the Liverpool dilated calyx. Here is the calculus measuring approximately 6.5 mm. Then uh, this is the transfer section of the kidney. And what we see is that the renal parenchyma is being perfused very well. You know, this is the parenchyma, vessels are perfusing it well. This is the dilated calyx. However, patient cannot hold the, uh, his, her breath, so not possible to uh, get the waveform or the velocity but it is being perfused well and we do see patent uh, renal artery and vein this is the from here you can see the renal artery and vein this is the renal artery This is the vein. So, this is the study of the right kidney. You see, there is sludge, oh, sorry, debris within the calluses. This is, if, if I show you this area. Now, this is the sludge, sorry, debris within the dilated lower pole calyx which is either pus this or bleed as the history of uh, PEO. So this goes more in favor of being uh, a pus. And so pyelonephritis with nephrolithiasis on the right side as well as diffuse raised parenchymal ecogenicity that of the uh, kidney is defining on the right side. Pass a mirror better. Now let's go to the left side. Pass a mirror. This is the upper pole of the okay now. This is the upper pole upper pole of the right uh, left kidney. The upper pole cavity uh, parenchyma measures 18.6 centimeters. It is uh, sorry, 18.6 millimeter. And uh, the calyx, see, all upper pole calyx is dilated, moderate, massively. And this ecogenic area measuring approximately 21.8 mm from this uh, region is in fact uh, calcified debris within the pelvis of the kidney. And now this is the lower pole uh, calyx, and you can see debris within it as well. Uh, so, and now this is the mid region parenchyma, and uh, Maria's 5.5 mm, and this is a reduced one. It, this is reduced, less than expected normal. This is the now this is the lower pole of the left kidney, dilated calyx, and this is the parenchyma, weighing 9.6 mm, thinned out, relatively thinned out. So the parenchyma of the left kidney is thinned out. Whatever uh, is there is being perfused though, but the equogenicity of the cortex and medulla or parenchyma is diffusely raised. See, the raised parenchymal ecogenicity 
thinned out parenchyma, raised echogenicity, and there is loss of corticomedullary differentiation. And these are the dilated calluses. Now, there is a calculus seen at the, in the dilated lower pole calyx. This measures approximately 11.4 mm. Now you see there is an ecogenic area giving posterior shadow in the dilated renal pelvis, giving twinkle artifact. See, it measures from this region, 25.4 mm, is in the dilated renal pelvis, and this is the debris. Uh, this is debris, us, uh, and you see this, area is the twinkle artifact that of from this uh, ecogenic area giving posterior shadow debris being calcified and it is mobile it changes its position with change in patient's posture patient uh, has dyspnea can't hold her breath so i can't uh, get the uh, waveform or uh, velocity of this kidney. This is the showing you the transfer section. See the debris. This is all debris. So this is our case of the day that is in fact uh, the pelvis is normal, the urinary bladder is okay, no finding in that region and this is our case. The proximal ureter though in this region is not being seen because of this, uh, uh, you see this echogenic area within the renal pelvis, this one giving the posterior shadow which is calcifying debris and uh, this is our case of the day which is uh, in fact uh, bilateral renal pancama changes with uh, nephrolithiasis as well as pyronephritis. So thank you very much.